I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the King of Cups and it's with the Three of Swords. Now the Three of no, the King of Cups, the card above the word pass, it, it can speak of a balanced male and feminine energy, which will hold all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, it indicates an actual person in your life. Usually, when it is a live person, it can refer to a very kind and very loving individual. This person could have here on the lighter end of the spectrum. Just know you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in a reading. Now, just know the King of Cups represents kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life no matter what your situation is when you get the King of Cups in a reading. So nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. Yeah, whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. It's all about love, kindness, and compassion. And what's in the cup? It's a cup of love. Now, those are the Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords, there's an element of sorrow. And it's undeniable. But what's on the other side of the sorrow or sadness can be enhanced understanding. It can be joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up. And I say this because you need to do that so that you can move past it. This card, it can point to a very deep emotional issue. That needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So, once again, allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. But make sure you don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. And I say this because some people do. They'll just um, stay stuck in it. And when you stay stuck in it for long periods of time, you could um, start to think it's a new normal, and it's not. Yeah, you'll just wake up every morning thinking, thinking this is the new. So just don't stay stuck in any type of sadness or disappointment for long periods of time. The thing is that you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. So Cancer, the recent past energy, King of Cups clarified by Three of Swords. So the message that I'm getting for a lot of you, yeah, I'm picking up that it looks like you were ready to offer love to your person. That looks like a lot of you got, you got disappointed and you got hurt. Yeah, the Three of Swords is really ugly. Uh, yeah, your person could have started to uh, shut you out. You could have felt... Like they were rejecting you. Uh, or you could have felt like they closed themselves off to you. Yeah, the two of you could have severed ties. Yeah, you were ready to offer love. But, yeah, it looks like basically... The Three of Swords, yeah, you, you got hurt. 
their their the relationship became difficult. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's get off of that. Now let's see what's coming up. We got the seven of pentacles. And it's with the nine of pentacles. Now the seven of pentacles, it's often a card about returns on investments. It could be literal, maybe a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. You'll be reaping what you've sown. And this is positive. This is very positive. So you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along, and you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future with a good cause. You may need to decide whether to put your energy into things and people, situations that you're already involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. Yeah, you should choose wisely when you get the Seven of Pentacles. Now, it's with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is actually one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the tarot. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while, and that things in general will be going better than you ever thought possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth and happiness with others. So coming up, Cancer, Seven of Pentacles, clarified by Nine of Pentacles. So, what I'm picking up on is that yeah, like I said, you got hurt by by a recent past connection or by your person. But it looks like it looks like with the nine of pentacles here, you're ready you're ready for a good relationship. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles is about things being just good overall. Ten of Pentacles is the tops when it comes to the Pentacles. Yeah, that means everything is going, going great. Everything is 100. But you got the Nine of Pentacles here. So you, it means that you just you want something really good. You want, you want a good relationship. And for a lot of you, it's been difficult to get or to come by your way. Yeah, so for some of you, you, you decide at 2021, this new year is going to be the year that something is going to work this time. Because it looks like, like I said, you got hurt by this past connection and you realize that coming up you're going to put a lot of energy work and effort into finding a good relationship because if you look at the seven of pentacles it's a card above the word present this lady she's watering a plant she gets up every morning to take care of it and before she goes to bed she takes care of it She's had that plant ever since it was a little tiny, teeny little thing. She could hold it in the palm of her hand. And now it's about 10 feet tall. The leaves are rich and dark and healthy and strong. Yeah, and before she, like I said, before she goes to bed, she takes care of it. Because she, she really, really wants it to... To work, she wants it to make it. She wants to reap the rewards of the energy and effort that she put into this plant, and she is. So that's that's how you're feeling. A lot of you, you want you want something to work. Yeah, you're tired. A lot of you are tired of being single. A lot of you have been single for too long, and a lot of you made the decision. 2021 is the year you're going to have a good relationship. Yeah, because it looks like you just got out of some disappointment where your person was 
probably closing themselves off to you. And just distancing themselves from you. Um, the two of you severed ties. And it was very difficult for you. Yeah, so that's what's coming up. It looks like you could put, be putting in a lot of energy and effort into trying to find a good one this time. But let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is going to be. We have the Queen of Wands. And it's with a fool. Now, the Queen of Wands can refer to a woman. She could have a lot of fire type of energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. When it's not referring to an actual person, it can actually stand for getting a lot accomplished. Maybe focus on work, career. It could be family or romance. The Queen is actually positive, uplifting energy. So when she stands for an actual person in your life, she's a good friend who's solidly on your side. Even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive... And you get the Queen of Wands in a reading. Well, this is one of the most positive signs that there can be. Now, to the Fool card, the Fool card can indicate newness in one form or another. Now, in many ways, it can indicate the purity, open-hearted energy, and innocence of a child. We all know that children, they're trusting, and trust actually forms the basis of meaning for this card. So this is considered a positive card in the tarot. But it's going to be important for you to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But doing so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. As you can see in the picture of the fool, the card below the word challenge. Yeah, he's so ready to just take a leap of faith and jump right on in. He's not watching where he's going. And what's below him is all blue water. That's the Pacific Ocean. Maybe even the Atlantic Ocean. So, you gotta be careful. Because this person is just very excited to just jump right on in. So, your challenge. Queen of Wands clarified by the Fool. Yeah, what I'm getting is that, um, Cancer, you could know someone, um, this could be someone new, it could be someone that you already know, or someone that you're thinking about, or someone could be feeling this way about you, someone could have you on their mind, uh, maybe you just heard from this person. Or maybe you're just being determined like the Queen of Wands. Very determined. We got two determined cards here. The Seven of Pentacles that we just talked about. And the Queen of Wands. So I'm I'm getting for the most part you you're still determined. Like I said, this is a plan for a lot of you cancers to have finally have a good relationship this year. So you could be very determined about it. Or you can know someone you're determined about. And it looks like you're, you're ready to just jump right on in. Yeah, some of you are thinking that's the best way to do it. Just jump right on in. Yeah, maybe there's someone that you know or someone coming towards you. You're going to be very determined. Or, for some of you, you could feel like your person, this person is determined. Yeah, they could give you that vibe. Like they're really determined about you. And it looks like you're going to jump right on in. The fool card is, is usually a positive thing. Yeah, it looks like you're going to take a risk. And you're going to go for it. Yeah. Because you like the energy that this person is bringing, they're bringing determination, like this Queen of Wands. So you're feeling their energy. Yep. 
and you're ready for a new beginning. So you're going for it. You're taking a leap of faith. So let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. So we got the Page of Cups, and it's with a tower. Now, the Page of Cups, it shows a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When you get this card in a reading, it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too seriously. There was a poet or a writer that once said, the one important thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. Now, the first is imperative. And the second is a disaster. You have to know the difference. Now, so the tower card, this card can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo. And we all know that can be a disaster because you have to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people's situations that you've counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Just know this doesn't have to be drastic because... Change, it's the nature of life, and if we try to, to prevent that change, it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could actually be the time that some come crashing down. That's only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Just know dreaming is important. But it's also important to be living in a reality. So your outcome, Cancer, Page of Cups, clarified by the Tower. Yeah, so the message that I'm getting is that, like I said, you're ready to just jump right on in there. I keep looking... My eyes keep going back toward, towards the Fool card. Out of all the cards in the deck. So, it looks, it looks like you're just so ready, ready to just jump right on in there. You told yourself 2021 is the year that you're gonna find that special someone. A good relationship. So it looks like you're jumping into someone that's that's coming across as being very determined about you, or you could be very determined about this connection. And it looks like um, the two of you could have a lot of fun. The Page of Cups, it's about, if you look at the picture of the Page of Cups, the card above the word outcome, yeah, they're hanging loose at the park, they're halfway naked, they're turning up the bottle. So, yeah, you could have a lot of fun with this person. But it's saying that if you're looking for more than just fun, you might want to slow your roll. Don't just jump right on into things. Because the fool card is right next to the tower. And I'm just looking at, it's interesting because they're facing each other. The tower is falling towards the fool and the fool is jumping in, is leaning towards the tower. They're both leaning towards each other. So, like I said, um, it's saying that you just need to slow your roll. You know, they say you got to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince. Yeah, this person, if this, this is a person, this queen of wands, that you're determined about or they're determined about you, it, it looks like the two of you could have a lot of fun. You could enjoy each other. But it's saying, it's saying it may not be anything serious. This person could be... The type that's um, not ready for anything serious. Because when you hear the word page, that's the page of cups, the card above the word outcome. That could, the page indicates a student. It indicates youth. Immaturity, maybe. 
or could indicate someone that's younger than you. And it's just saying that you could have fun with this person, but it's saying don't don't look for anything serious. Yeah, and you, but you're ready to jump right on in there, so a lot of you will. But just know that um, it's this. I'm getting the message that that you might need to slow your roll. As eager as some of you are to find that special someone or just a good, healthy relationship. Yeah. It's saying that you gotta slow down. Yeah. Because this one looks like it's someone who could um, not Someone who could be the type that's not um, looking for anything serious. Yeah. So, try to put yourself out there more. More, the more, the better. And I know you can't really do that that much these days in person, but there's the internet. Thank goodness that's still working. There's still all kinds of social media accounts that you can create. Fix yourself up. Take some really, really pretty pictures. Buy yourself some, some of those false eyelashes. Oh, get the lace front wig. Uh, make sure your makeup is on point. Get that waist really tight. Even if you have to put on a girl. Pretty, pretty pictures. Yeah, make sure you're looking good. Do a lot of, a lot of social media. Just put your pictures out there. That's just a little tip. I don't know if a lot of people are not really into social media, but you'd be surprised. You'd be really surprised how many people you can meet that way. Especially if you put some effort and energy into some really nice pictures. Yeah, and just make sure everything is on point. So, this reading is not for everyone, because a lot of people are with someone, but this reading is for someone who, have, they have their mind set on finding that special one, because this reading is about being determined and really, really, Wanting to find that special one. Somebody just got hurt. And they're trying to overcome it by moving on to the next. Like they say, the best way to get over heartbreak or a past person is to just jump right on to the next. But it's saying for this reading that you need to slow your roll. Put yourself out there more. Yeah, the more the better. But do it, do it um, in a really good way. Make sure everything is on point with those pictures. So like I said, this is not for everyone. Just a few of you who um, are feeling that 2021, you're determined to find that special one. Yeah, so that's a reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So, Cancer, I hope all of you are doing well. And staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, when you get this, these readings, the roles of the people can be switched. They can. Yes, they can be reversed. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically... The other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, 
or even a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because, once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing all of you Happy New Year's. Happy 2021. I'm wishing you the very best for the new year. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.